Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Shivan and I make videos for medical school and university. So today's video is a continuation of a series of videos that I'll be, I said I'll be making on uh, interviews for medical school. And specifically, I'll be focusing on MMIs as they are the conventional interviews used in the UK for most medical schools. Today I'm going to cover some important profiling questions that you should probably have an answer to before you walk in for one of these interviews. Uh, this will cover questions like uh, why medicine and why medicine at this particular medical school. So I'm just going to divide this video into those two questions. And then you maybe ask these questions in various different ways. Uh, you just want to basically know an answer to this broad. Uh, you basically want to have an answer for this question because it's an important question to have an answer to even if you're not giving an interview. But uh, here you are. So you definitely want to know why you're doing this. So first of all, why medicine? Um, so you can approach this with uh, a number of different reasons and each of them will be personal to you but I suggest going with multiple reasons not just one uh, because uh, medicine is very multifaceted and if you only approach it from one aspect that's not very convincing and you've clearly not looked at all the different aspects there are to medicine so you can include things like um, your love for science or your interest for science you're wanting to help people, wanting to make a difference, wanting uh, uh, to work in a dynamic profession, wanting to um, work in a profession where you can do research and teaching. There are a number of different reasons uh, that you can have uh, for doing something like this. So if I have to think about why I want to do medicine, I would break it down into three things, which most of which I just mentioned and that's uh, one I was always very interested in science and that's why I wanted to do something with science then um, I want to be able to make a difference I want to help people who are in difficult situations and who may be suffering from a particular disease an ailment something that may be affecting their life or their quality of life uh, because of my personal experiences and then finally it's the dynamic nature or multifaceted nature of medicine that really intrigues me how you can do so many different things within this one particular field uh, so like that you want to find a few good reasons for yourself and you want to elaborate on them using your own personal experiences and then substantiating them with uh, relevant medical experience or relevant uh, first-hand experience that you've taken up to get greater exposure to the field uh, in which you've gotten greater exposure to the field. For example, you, you might want to structure this mentally as something like uh, I want to do medicine for this reason and uh, elaborate on that reason and then back it up with an example of where you've seen this being a part of medicine and why that's intrigued you. Yeah, that basically covers this question. You want to structure it well. If you want, you can just uh, list out the important points before you start your answering the question. So instead of letting it just flow like one big paragraph and losing your train of thought, start answering the question by saying, I want to do medicine for two or three reasons and those reasons are one and two and now to elaborate on one talk about it to elaborate on two talk about it and if there's a three to elaborate on the third one and then talk about it you don't want to make it too long and drawn out you want to keep it concise as with all uh, interview information and generally being concise is a good skill to have and uh, yeah so basically that covers why medicine with all this information it should be something that's well thought out 
it's not something though it seems like something that's uh should be very intrinsic and it should just be spontaneous why you want to do medicine is something that happens over a long period of time and you won't really realize it, how it's happening so you'll have to look into it think about it a bit and then develop a good answer for it then you have the question of why a particular medical school like they could be asking you why do you want to come here or why do you want to study in this medical school so to actually go into that in detail you could take a look at my video on uh, choosing a medical school and you want to talk about all those factors but basically you want to talk about how you would be a good fit for the structure of that particular medical school so uh obviously do some research on the way they teach the way they the the way their medical course is structured and think about how you learn and what things are important to you in learning medicine and make sure that their course or what they're offering you incorporate a lot of what you want to do obviously every medical school is fantastic and it makes uh, amazing doctors and very competent doctors so there's obviously something good about every medical school you just need to find out what it is and you need to know about it and you need to be able to talk about it so uh, that covers these two questions and like I said this these two general things if you think about them they're basically broad answers to a variety of different questions so for example what makes you a good fit for medicine think about why you want to do medicine and you can basically i don't want to say twist because that has a negative connotation but you can basically extract one answer into another obviously you'll have to mold it into whatever framework they are asking you to put it in and uh, same for why this medical school they can say they can ask you a co more specific question about their course structure like uh, for example if a medical school you're applying to uses a particular form of teaching for example problem-based learning they can ask you what do you think are the advantages of problem-based learning and you should have thought that out so you want to explore these two topics in greater detail and that's something that should prepare you with some information that may be beneficial for you in your interviews. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found this interesting and I hope it does help you out in some way, uh, whether it's in your interview or whether it's just for your own benefit to think about these things. But yeah, uh, don't forget to hit the like button down below and to subscribe. Yeah. Bye.